Um, well, I want to explain just a little bit to you why that's probably not the optimum shape for an aircraft in general. Um, if you go for a shape which um, is wider than it is tall um, or is generally irregular, it will always have a higher, uh, a higher perimeter than a circular shape or a regular shape. Um, as a result, we've increased our surface area and that should technically increase our drag. Um, what we've uh, done to try and mitigate this slightly, um, um, sort of a, a happy side effect of having our engines placed at the back, um, is that it's allowed us to uh, investigate the use of um, downhill layer ingestion uh, to reduce the drag that we actually experience. Now the, um, the purpose of uh, boundary layer ingestion is to take air that has been slowed down as it's passed over the fuselage um, and to, and to uh, move that air through the engine. And as it goes through the engine, it is of course sped up and ejected at a much higher speed. In a normal aircraft, the air passing over slows down, um, and as a result, the air behind the aircraft, the velocity profile of that has awakened it. Um, with our design, this air is sped up again, and as a result, the weight is um, of a smaller size that reduces both the drag and the noise of the airport brings. Um, to achieve this, we have um, a boundary layer ingestion extract, which has a low aspect ratio of the top aircraft. The side placed engines are also in an optimal position to ingest uh, air that has been going off the side of the fuselage. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the overall purpose of this was to reduce the drag. Although it hasn't been investigated in detail, it is a happy side effect of the aircraft, uh, the aircraft configuration being why it is, and hopefully a sunny point that will allow us to be competitive in fuel consumption. Um, I'm going to hand over to Wynn now to talk a little bit about the mass use within our aircraft. One of our major design drivers was fuel efficiency. One of the ways we could improve fuel efficiency was by having a lighter aircraft. On the left, you can see the breakdown of the enter of a typical twin engine airliner, which our aircraft is designed to replace. You can see that um, 50 to 54 percent of the MSO is the uh, manufacturer's empty weight, which is only 38 to 47 percent as the usual load fraction. And of this, only 18 to 22% is the actual payload. On the right is our aircraft. Our lighter structure allows is only 40 